Hey guys, this is Helly with uh, another message about Twin Flames. Well, um, it's been a while since I recorded my last video. Um, I have to say that I was expecting to meet my Twin Flame again. And we didn't meet. We were about to meet two times the cancelled the flight in the last minute and at some point I just said, told to myself you know well if it should happen it will happen and I want to talk today about what's going on what happens with the twin flame runner what what to do when it's not working when you can't make the other person to commit to you when you can't make him come to you and to see you and and you can't meet and you feel like he's blocking you and that's what I felt with my twin flame and I've been listening to many channelings and many people talking about twin flames and at some point I just realized that okay this is what it is okay I have this intense feelings for him and this huge love and unconditional love which makes me feel more secure in myself and secure in the universe and knowing that well if it should happen it will happen there's nothing I can do about it and I can make this wish inside of me and I can make myself want it so much to happen and if it won't so it probably shouldn't be and I'm trying to rely on the universe that um, it was when we were about to meet, when we were supposed to meet each other, which was against every, I know, every odds that we will meet, so we met. And when we met, it was amazing, it was beautiful, and I still feel him, I know him, I mean, we sometimes... I think about him and he's texting me and I'm texting him about something certain and it's like how did you know that and I just learned to release through the past month and it's been a very hard lesson I was dating other guys and even had a relationship with someone which was really nice it wasn't the same as it was with him I mean, there were feelings and emotions that start to be built, but it wasn't the same. It's not the same levels. And part of me said that, well, you know, you're gonna wait for him. And I've seen that I'm waiting and waiting and waiting, and he's just stuck in his things. Um, he started pushing me away, and he started being distanced and one day two weeks ago I told him I asked him why are you so distanced with me and he said because you're miles away and it's hard and I'm not sure it's gonna work between us I told him okay I'm just one hour flight and we can make it work and he was like I'm not sure I can do it right now so at that point I realized that I have to let it go and I need to make him have some process to give him to do some process with himself and to go through things and to grow I mean, and if it should happen it will happen and I know that few great things happened since he came into my life which were first I knew I felt that there is this kind of intense love, this real love, this thing that people are talking about in the movies and the stories and romance and I know that this is real, okay? <laughs> I've been in love before and to meet someone you don't you never met and from other country and just to feel so connected in minutes I know it exists. And it's like change all my proportion and perspective into relationships. And 
other connections which made me feel from the very beginning if it's gonna happen or if it's not, if it's right or if it's not. And I just know now to say at the exact moment when it's not right for me. And it's even sometimes before the date, I can sense this feeling in my stomach and this vibration, if it's true or not. And I know I met my twin flame and some people say that twin flame is an energy and you can have the energy in few people. I don't know. And, but there was something about this man which makes him stay in my mind all the time and just learn to let go because I know I get nothing to do right now I mean he knows how I feel he's got his life complicated right now and very busy and we both having a very busy time and I'm like okay it can cha be changed in seconds once something will be changed in his mind and Maybe it won't, and it's okay, because it's the universe, and I know that meeting him made me see things about myself. It was like being a whole new me. I've been doing a lot of uh, ascension work for the past few years, and it's like everything got concentrated to this moment when I met him, and then it all got clear, and change my way of thinking, my way of seeing life, my goals, um, and it was like I cut, I cut loose a lot of relationships with friends and people around me which didn't make me feel so good about myself and it's like I'm not compromising anymore and I'm gonna be, I can have a relationship with someone which is soulmate and Right now I got one and it's not the same but it's quite good and I mean I know if we got if we will need to meet each other again and if something will change in his mind it's gonna come back to me. And maybe it won't because sometimes that's what happens and I don't know, something inside of me tells me that he just need time to grow, to, to change his life to, because I know that I changed things inside of him in the emotional level exactly the way he changed me and he also told me that because even if he's not my twin flame I'm a very energetic person and there's no way he met me and felt nothing and there's no way we met and had these amazing times together and he felt nothing because I know I've seen the way he was when we met and I know I touched him very deeply and I even started talking about changing his whole life in order to be with me but then he freaked out and realize it's not the time for him so for one hand it's too bad for me because you know life is short you can never know what's gonna be tomorrow and on the other hand he has his process to do he has his birth to do so there's nothing i can do about it so my advice to you dear twin flames if your twin is running if he's blocking you if he's saying he can't let it go just let it go I know I'm having each day thinking about him and just when I decide to let him go every time he's like popping off or uh, I know even one day I open my computer and after two days I tried not to think about him and I saw some picture from I got this uh, screensaver and it changed the uh, photographs and I just saw a picture of a place we were together and I was like what <laughs> I mean <laughs> leave me alone 
and I dream about him at least once a week and these dreams are so real and I'm just trying to do something and then something pops up and reminds me of him but I learned to let go because I have no other choice and I don't want to hurt myself so I just have to move on and if he will decide someday that he's ready it depends on the place I'm gonna be with be at and I really hope that will happen before I'll get too involved in a relationship but I don't know it's like knowing that there is this someone for you somewhere and because it's unconditional love you don't you can let it go you can let him be and do his life and you can understand and you can be compassionate about it and you can let him do his growth process and it, again everything is up to the universe I mean I'm sending my commitment to him and I don't know what's gonna be so dear lovers just let them have to the, have their things okay there's nothing I can do about it I mean be honest be true tell how you feel and let them have their choice and let them decide what's good for them and if the, even if they don't know they will because I can tell that being with other men, which are not my twin flames, is totally different levels. I mean, it's not the same deepness. It's 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 nice, even if it's only it's really really nice, but it's not the same deepness. And I just need to let it go. And that's what I'm doing. So hoping you're well, guys. And take care. So goodbye.